two women have given birth using wombs donated by their own mothers. The pair become the first ever to have children using the very womb that brought them into the world a generation earlier. The breakthrough brings hope to the 15,000 British women who want children but were born without a womb or have had it removed. Henrik Hagberg, a professor in fetal medicine at King's College London, who was at the first birth, praised the grandmothers who had hysterectomies to donate wombs to their daughters. It is an absolutely extraordinary gift. It is probably the best thing you can do for your daughter, he said. The mothers were still very much doubting whether things would really go well. You don't take anything for granted when you have experienced all of the problems they have been through. The first child who weighed 5 lb8oz, was born to a 29-year-old Swede who lacked a womb at birth. The mother of the second boy, who weighed in at 5 lb15oz, is 34 and had her womb removed when she was treated for cancer in her 20s. Both babies were delivered by cesarean section around a month early. They join another history-making boy, named Vincent. Born in September as part of the Gothenburg University project, he was the first in the world to be born from a womb transplant. He was carried in a womb from an unrelated donor. Four of the seven women with successful transplants have become pregnant and three have had babies. Richard Smith, head of the charity Womb Transplant UK, is gearing up to start similar operations here, using wombs from dead donors. He says the first could be carried out as soon as next summer. Professor Hagberg believes the operation in which the donor's womb is removed can be reduced from the current 10 hours making the procedure more attractive. I'm an optimist. I'm sure this is something for the future, he said. It looks rather promising. It will be very exciting to see what happens in Britain and what they will be able to do using wombs from brain-dead donors.